I just wanted to let you guys know that my online chocolate shop is now carrying dark chocolate truffles with the most delicious whipped dark chocolate ganache filling. They're so good, oh my gosh. They're only available for a limited time and we do ship internationally, so if you would like a box, definitely check out the link in the description box down below. Hello everybody, welcome back, happy Monday. So this is quite a different setup than I'm normally used to filming in, but if you like it, definitely let me know. Anyways, on Mondays I make savory dishes or like non-dessert dishes, and I got a request from one of you guys to make sundubu jjigae, probably pronouncing that really incorrectly, but it's um, a Korean, I'm gonna get the correct terminology because I'm going to butcher it. It is a spicy soft tofu stew and I actually got a lot of requests from you guys to make Korean food and I can actually read and write Korean like Hangul, like the alphabet, but I don't know what I'm reading so I understand I can pronounce the alphabet but I don't know what I'm reading. And a lot of you have also really really enjoyed the fact that I have Mang Chi's cookbook behind me in some of my older intros and um, so I thought that this would be a perfect way of like combining the two as well as picking up on a fun YouTube trend that's been going around which is using like another YouTuber's tutorial or something to like following their tutorial and seeing what is created. So I am going to use Mang Chi's cookbook. I'll have it linked in the description box below if you want to pick it up as well as the video that it goes along with this recipe. I'm sure she's done one. I haven't double checked but I'm sure she has it. Um, and so we are making the spicy soft tofu stew, sundu jjigae. Um, looks like this. This is her book. I love Mom too. Oh my gosh. Like, I hope she watches this. Oh, she's so cute. I love her. Okay. Um, so yes, I've never made this before, but Korean food is like one of my favorite kinds of food. So I'm so excited. It's 8 p.m. I'm like shaking. I'm so hungry. So like, let's start this. Oh my gosh. Okay. So first things first, um, I need a small bowl. So we're getting a small bowl and we have to Mix together the hot pepper flakes, which are the gochu garu. See, I pronounce everything Korean in a Japanese accent, which is such an issue, but anything non-English always comes up with a Japanese accent, like even French for me, so I'm weird like that. Actually, first I'm going to get my rice going, so can you even see me? Maybe. This is my hot pink rice cooker from Tiger. Um, I'll link a couple videos in the cards here. I did a couple videos with them a couple years ago, and they gave me a hot pink rice cooker. It's amazing. Okay. So we have our bowl here and we're going to mix the gochugaru, which are Korean hot pepper flakes. And she says in the description that um, it's quite spicy, but you can adjust the seasoning for taste. So I'm such a baby with spice. I used to eat Korean food a ton in high school and I haven't really eaten much lately. I can't handle a lot of spice anymore. So I'm just doing half of it. So I'm just doing two tablespoons and we are going to mix it with the vegetable oil in a small bowl. If there are any other like cooking YouTubers recipes that you want me to try out, let me know. I think that would be so much fun. Okay. Oh my God. It's so spicy. I can like smell it already. Oh, this is going to hurt. All right. So heat a medium heavy pot over a medium high heat. All right. So add sesame oil, pork, so um, pork belly, garlic, and cook stirring with a wooden spoon until the pork is no longer pink and the garlic is fragrant. Okay, so I had sesame oil and then I checked it and it's um, gone rancid. So, and this is new for me, so I know you can see the camera here. Go with it, do go with it. <laughs> so we are heating the vegetable oil that's supposed to be sesame oil in our pot. And that's one teaspoon. And we are going to add the pork belly. And I think she said garlic. Yeah, okay. And cook stirring with a wooden spoon until the pork is no longer pink and the garlic is fragrant. Okay. So when I follow recipes, I'm actually such a slow cook, uh, just because like I double and triple check everything when I'm making it. All right. So we we need to like wait for this to heat up. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Okay. I'll be back when it's warm and like sizzling. Okay. So I'm sure you can hear um, that it's sizzling away, and it seems to be mostly like brown or the paint seems to have gone away. So the next step, add the kimchi and onion and cook stirring until the onion turns translucent for about seven minutes. Okay, so this is half a cup of chopped napa kimchi and a really handy way that I have learned to chop kimchi is by using scissors. Actually, I learned that at a Korean restaurant because I saw them just chopping things with scissors. So I'm like, oh my God, that's so much easier than with a knife. 
So this is one medium onion that seems massive right now. And we are going to stir until it becomes translucent, I think for like seven minutes. I'm so hungry. Oh my gosh. And also, yes, I am wearing a Christmas sweater because it's April. I'm filming this on April 16th and it's like a snowstorm and an ice storm outside. This is how ridiculous it is. So we're matching the ridiculousness with a Christmas sweater. And this is like my favorite sweater. It's so comfy. <laughs> do you guys do that? Let me know in the comments below if you're like that too. Like you wear Christmas things when it's not, or like we, when it's not like Christmas basically. All right, so I'm gonna wait for this to cook down and I will see you when we are done. This feels like a legit cooking show. This is so much fun. Okay, so I'm back and the onion looks translucent. We're gonna add two tablespoons of the hot pepper flake mixture and mix well. I'm gonna add half of it. Watch me start coughing because like even like the air is too spicy for me. So I'm gonna add the stock. This is chicken stock. So I use like chicken stock literally because I have to carry my groceries home and I don't feel like hauling like a massive box of liquid stock. Um, so I get the stock that's like, it's not the dried stock, but it's like the jelly stock in the little like plastic containers. So I feel like it's like a compromise between the dried stock, which is really, really salty and like the huge stock. Salt, salt, yes. All right, and turn the heat down to medium and cook until bubbling. Okay, so there we go. I'm gonna be so sick. We should have like a counter on the screen for how many times I complain about me being hungry. I didn't have lunch today because I didn't know when I was gonna film this. I'm like, oh, I'm up for lunch. And then it was like two, three o'clock, and then I was like too hungry to wait for me to like film it and make it. But now I'm in that exact situation again. So, um, yeah, I had Pop Tarts for lunch today. And I don't like them. Oh my god. Like, it's just, it was really disappointing. Do you guys not like Pop Tarts either? I feel like it's so popular, but they weren't warm. Maybe I like, th I'll like them when they're warm. What do you think? Leave a comment. Do you like Pop-Tarts? Are they better warm? Who knows? Okay, um, so that's gonna bubble away for 10 minutes and I'll see you when we get back. Okay, so we are back and this has been boiling for about like 12 minutes, I think, and it's looking pretty good. So now the rice is going to be done in five minutes. So it's like perfect timing. I'm so happy. I'm gonna sit and watch Netflix and just eat the whole thing. Okay, so now, um, we already cut the cubes of the tubes of tofu in half and squeeze tofu into the boiling stew and then break into smaller pieces. Okay, so I didn't buy tubes of tofu, I just brought bought little blocks. And they have since released more water, but God, am I like breaking any rules by adding the water? I don't know. So I'm gonna gently like slide these. Ah! Okay, yeah, that was fine. Um, into the pot and then just like break them up with the spoon. What does that count? Five of like how much I've whined about it. And now I'm going to stir. And you know like I know so many people say they don't like tofu but the reason why I like it is that it's on its own yes it has like very little flavor but when you it's, it's like a vehicle for flavor so when you add it to stew and stuff like that it takes on the flavor of whatever you're cooking with. What's your guys favorite um, type of Korean stew. Mine is budechige. I think I said that wrong, but anyways, um, I, it's like the army stew or something like that. Um, one of my really good friends, um, we haven't talked in forever, but in second year university, we were roommates. Her name is Sally. So if you're watching, hi. Um, but she taught me how to make it, and you add like ramen, you add like, we, I think we added cheese, we added like everything to it. It's so good, and like sausage and so much, oh my gosh, it was like so filling and hearty. And that's one of the reasons why I love Korean food is because it's so, um, it makes you feel like nice and warm and cozy inside. And that's why I actually prefer it over Japanese food because um, I feel like there's a phrase or phrase, there's terminology in Japanese to like describe it perfectly. So there's saparishita, or like saparishita, which means like light and like, not too heavy, like kind of food that's like that. And then there's kotteri, and kotteri is 
like hearty kind of food and hearty food is like my favorite kind and like Korean food is so hot <laughs> so yeah drizzle the remaining hot pepper flake mixture okay I did it wrong because it says to drizzle and mine's still powder form but anyway add it to the stew and then crack the eggs into the stew leaving space between them okay so That red is like the most dangerous color because it's so spicy. Which seems to be now. Okay. So. So. The rice is done. <laughs> Alright, so there's one egg in there. And then the second egg. Oh my god. The second egg. And then we're going to add the scallions and cook until the egg whites are set, but the yolks are still runny. A few more minutes. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna sprinkle the scallions on top. So while we're waiting, um, I gotta tell you that um, what is it? On Friday, the non-recipe video is going to be one with my new puppy in it. I almost said her name. He's like jealous of her name. I'm gonna vlog when I pick her up and um, like the first like of her in Paddington and I think like the first week of her being here because it'll be a week by Friday um, so that you'll see like how she adjusts and everything like that so I'm really really excited she was supposed to have on Sunday and like on the the Sunday the 15th and it's the 16th right now so it's Monday when I'm filming this and um, because of like the stupid snowstorm my flight got cancelled because they're really really picky about bringing dogs on a plane like the conditions need to be right they don't want them to be too cold they don't want them to be on a flight that's like delayed and they're stuck on the tarmac for hours, stuff like that. So uh, I'm glad that they're picky, but also like, oh my puppy. All right, how's the egg doing? I think we're good. All right, is there anything else that I have to do after this? Serve immediately. Sounds good. Like my stomach's grumbling and I feel like it's, um, I gotta make the camera shake. Okay, thanks. And if you're curious what cameras these are, the one that you're watching on is a, um, T5i Rebel and then this is a, um, 6D. This is a better camera, but it doesn't have a little turnaround screen that the one that you're on does, which is, it makes it so much easier because I can like tell if I'm in frame or not. All right, good thank you, sir, missed you. I'm so curious like what it's gonna taste like. I mean I've had this stew before at Korean restaurants. Um I've obviously never made it. So let's see. I'm gonna scoop and get the egg yolk, which is like right there. Can you guys see it? Alright. The bowl is here. There's like this much room that's gonna get splattered with soup, but whatever. Actually that wasn't bad. Okay, and now. There we go. <laughs> there we go. What do you guys think on the other camera now? You're seeing it from the 6D. Is it better quality? Let me know. It is though. Um, okay. So now I'm going to try it and I'm going to get a bowl of rice too. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Alright, so I have a bowl for rice and I have this little spatula. It is a... I was about to say shrimp. It is not a shrimp. It's a... Oh my god. Okay, it's a squirrel. It's called a shamoji. Shamojis are little like rice spatulas. So there's a Korean term which would be more relevant in this video, but I don't know. Okay, so, whoa, can you see that on camera? Oh, like the steam. So excited. This is a really small bowl for rice, but um, it's fine. Oh my god, okay, freshly cooked rice. Who else like loves that smell? It's my favorite thing. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited. Now I'm going to try it, and I actually don't have chopsticks. I lost one, like one, so I have one chopstick. Um, but I think actually Korean restaurants usually use this with a spoon, right? You put it onto rice. That's what I am do anyway. Um, everything is hot. Oh my gosh, I'm totally gonna burn my tongue, but it's worth it. Okay, so I'm taking some tofu and some of the liquid and putting it onto the rice. And I oh, have the bowl of rice is really hot. Okay. Oh, it smells so good. Okay. It's really hot though. It sucks when you're hungry and something's really hot. You just want to eat it, but you don't want to burn yourself. Mm. 
you guys, it is so good. Oh my gosh. This is totally gonna be like a go-to recipe for me. If you guys wanna see other recipes if I'm on Tea's cookbook, let me know. I made her, um, what are they called? I get, it's fried chicken, but you fry it twice. And it's in a sticky sauce. So good. I don't even like fried chicken really, and that was so good. Oh my god. Yay, okay. So, I can't stop eating. Okay, so, thank you, Mom, you for this recipe. I'm so excited. Um, oh my gosh, this is so good. I'm so happy. So, do you guys think I did a good job? For those of you who are more familiar with Korean food than I am, does this look right? I haven't ordered in a restaurant in forever, so I forget. But um, let me know in the description, in the description box in the comments down below um, if you've tried it before, what you think, and um, yeah, let me know what I should make next and whose recipe I should make next. I think this will be like a really, really little fun challenge or series on my channel. But anyway, anyways, <laughs> yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I gotta go eat dinner finally and eat this. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. And um, yeah, I will see you tomorrow for another video. And tomorrow's recipe uh, video is going to be how to flavor ice cream. So how to make like literally any flavor of ice cream in the world. Like even like apple pie or like kimchi ice cream, which I'm kind of tempted to try and make. <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys so much and I will see you tomorrow.